Our next show, also very special, American Passion. American Passion closed on opening night in 1983. That's all she got. There's American Passion. Uh, American Passion was the first off-Broadway production at the Joyce Theater on 18th Street and 9th Avenue, which now houses dance shows. The original musical was about a group of teenagers pouring out their hopes and dreams on a radio show to an invisible DJ in the hopes of winning a chance to meet a famous band called American Passion. The show starred, ready for it, Todd Graff, Robert Downey Jr., Martha Plimpton, Jane Krakowski, and Bobby. Many of these people were fired during previews. <laughs> Luckily, they all did pretty well. Um, so while, while the show closed on opening night, it did play 42 previews. It tried to make a statement against the commercial nature of youth culture and the dangers of treating rock and roll like a cult religion. Songs where the kids articulated their goals in life had titles like Limo to the Plaza, Trash in a Torn. Uh, the score was spotted with jingles for items like Double Mint Gum that were part of the American Passion Contest. American Passion tried to mirror a chorus line in several ways. The invisible DJ was played by Roscoe, only one name, a real life disc jockey on a popular Not the New York station. Dog. <laughs> uh, at the time. <laughs> Unfortunately, the teenage actors couldn't get audiences to care about these characters. Frank Rich wrote, <laughs> Frank Rich wrote, who will win? Who cares? <laughs> uh, he noted that the show just never whipped up any heat, and many weighed in that the characters were stereotypes. The reviews were bad. These reviews were bad. Yes. Hating American passion. <laughs> um, one of the nicest things said about the show was in the Tribune, that the cast of young performers generated more energy than Con Edison. Here to whip up some energy and sing a tune from American Passion, which I don't think has been heard since opening night in 1983, welcome Molly Modell, Grace Ralbowski, and Anna Grace Barlow. <laughs> If you're really looking for a virgin, try Yonkers! There ain't no virgins in Queens! Unless you count the chickens that are under 13. They don't go to stupid, they don't go to scream. There ain't no virgins in Queens! Oh, yes. 